Guys, they said Queen Naomi was a surprise, as in she was like, is this really happening? Over what this uh, son of a woman show said to her concerning her return in the palace and everything that is happening right now in the palace. Because information have you that a lot of things has been going on in that palace, a lot of fights, a lot of spiritual battles, a lot of physical battles. You know, they have been coming spiritually and they have been hiding under some people to fight. But this time, they said they are no longer hiding. They are now coming out plain. Okabi soon now know those that are supporting him and those that are fighting him because they can no longer hide. While they are hiding, they were unable to achieve anything. While they were just flaunting the women, they were unable to achieve success. But right now, they have decided to come and fight it physically, both spiritually and physically. But as for that spiritual part, they said that Yami father Kabi Esi brought from, is it from Brazil? I don't know. They said the woman is doing a great job right there in that palace. Because none of their evil attack was able to penetrate Kabiesi or even the palace. So, right now, that is why Kabiesi's eye and eyes are now clear. His eyes are now very clear that he knows what he wants and he is going for it. Then they said this uh, Sean of Obomosho. You know that this Sean of Obomosho is a king too. Then he's not just a king. He's a powerful man of God. They said he has been a pastor in the Redeemed Christian Church for like 30 good years. So he's, he is speaking out of experience and uh, as an elder. You know that when, some, when somebody has done something for one year, two years, Quinami is, is almost, okay, start one. But this man has done this ministerial job for like 30 years. <laughs> Quinami age plus, you know. So she knows better. Sorry, he knows better. And that was why they said he called Queen Naomi. Telling Queen Naomi that, look, that he have seen visions upon visions upon visions. And all this why he has kept quiet because he thought Kabiesi would do the needful. But right now that he's making a move, that he is advising you to know that this is your destiny. That God, the day you were born, you were born with a crown. And if you allow anybody to take that crown from you because of the fact that you don't want to fight, you don't want problem, you don't want this, that you are going to live to regret it. That the best thing you should do right now is to stand your ground. Even if the walls of the palace is falling on you, just pretend as if you did not see it and move in to where you belong. Because that is your base. That is where you belong. And there is no other place that you can be comfortable and more safe than in that palace because you were born to rule and let me tell you all this fight that is coming from what they said the man was telling her that all these fights that they are meant to come that god cannot give you a burden that is bigger than you god knows that you can fight this battle and be victorious and for the fact that he is with you that you are a conqueror for that reason you should go ahead don't Look at what is happening right now. Don't look at what is playing out because a lot are on, on, a lot of things are going on from the information we are hearing. You know, they said the man told Queen Nomi that you see warriors that they don't fight and run. They fight to finish. They fight until they win the battle. And if you run, fight and run, you are just a coward. Don't be a coward. They said the man have told Queen Nomi that this is your fight. In as much as uh, it is Queen Naomi, uh, Kabi said that they are fighting. Because the thing is that they don't want Queen Naomi to be there because Queen Naomi is a shield to Kabi Yesi. As a matter of what it is Queen Naomi's destiny. Anyone will have to fight to achieve his or her destiny in this life. And when you give up along the way, your life becomes a mess. When you cannot achieve your destiny, when you already know that this is your destiny, it's sometimes if people complain that they don't know what their destiny is this than that, it's a different case altogether. Here, we normally know that this is her destiny and she cannot run away from it. She cannot run away from it. That is what they said. The son of Obomosho is telling her that it is high time you stand your ground. Stand by your husband. Right now that her, his eyes are clear. Even if he decided to misbehave, know that it is your battle. It is your destiny.
if you if you allow people to thwart your destiny and give you a destiny that is not yours, you are going to be the one to suffer it in the future. And to tell you that God really need you in that palace, he blessed you with a son. God might even choose to give you a daughter. And I bet you this case would, would have been different. But because you are destined to be there, they gave you a son in that palace. So that no matter the fight, you will surely return back to where you belong. Don't allow anything to stop you from going back to your palace right now. That this is the time. This is the time. And uh, this is not the first time I'm hearing this. Oh, Around last week, there was another prophecy from another man of God like that. Telling Kwenomi that this is the time. That if she miss being going back to the palace now, that it might be very difficult for both her and the Kabiesi. And Kabiesi on the other side knows that Kwenomi is there for remission. Kwenomi is his partner on this royalty, on this journey of royalty. But those people who really want him out of the way, they are fighting to ensure that Kwenomi did not return so that he will give up on the way or he will end up on the way. Because, because they are fighting, because they know that Kwenomi is a protective charm to uh, uh, Kwenomi. Yes, she is a protective charm. <laughs> you don't know. When I mean protective charm, when you are living with somebody who sees things before they happen, that person is your protective charm. All you need to do is to be in a very good time with that person. So when the person sees such a thing on your head, the person will pray for you. The person will fight the battle. But if you are chasing that person away, even if he, she or she saw some things like that, sometimes they may be afraid to tell you. reason is because they might think that you will not accept it or you... I don't know. Konami is KBS's protective charm. You see that one that uh, 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 we heard that Teru Nke took? That one is not the original protective term. The main protective term here is that with Naomi, whether they like it or not. Yes. And I believe that even though Kwenomi is not in the palace at the moment, she is still fighting Kabiesi's battles. And that is why they want her out of his life completely. That was what they said, Obon Oshon of Obon so was telling her, allegedly that you need to stand up. You need to fight this battle once and for all. That this is the time for you to return back to your home. That that is your destiny. That before it happens, God already knows that it is going to happen. And that is why they are giving you aid. They are giving you help. They are giving you the power to fight and win. Now, even the gods of Ileife Kingdom, they really want you back to that palace. Because if they don't want you, they know what to do. Yes, they know what to do, whether you believe it or not. If the gods of the land don't want her, they know what to do. But they want her. It's the people, the evil people in town that don't want her. So guys, I don't know what to say. Uh, I want to remind you that these are all alleged information, okay? Always bear that in mind. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And turn on the notification bell. I love you guys. Bye.